let's roughly plan out what we're going to be building today. So I want you to think about this rig that we're building as in modules. So we're gonna have uh, a simple setup for our base, which is gonna control our deformation and, and controls. And we're gonna use that exact same uh, setup for our lid, and then we're just gonna parent them together. So I want you to think about it as modules. So how do these modules work? Well, uh, I'm gonna draw an exploded version of that. To get the deformation happening, we're gonna have three bones. So we're gonna have a deformation in, We've got one bone that actually does a deformation and then a deformation out. This is gonna help our bendy bone um, be able to control our bendy bone. So the only bone that does any deformation is this bone here. Everything else is uh, set to not deform. So let's just draw that here. So this is our deformation bone. This one here is our deformation in and this one here is our deformation out. Now, the animator is not gonna to uh, touch this at all. They are going to use some controls. So let's build some controls with them. Again, this is an exploded view, but we're gonna have a control here. This is gonna sit on top, you know, over uh, exactly in the same spot over there. And we're gonna constrain this one. So it's gonna copy what our top control here does. This is gonna be our top control. And then we're gonna do the same thing with the bottom, but it's gonna be flipped. This is gonna be our bottom control. So our base bottom, and this is gonna sit over the top of this guy here. Now the reason it's flipped is because the bone's pivot point is here, and that, that actually will co coincide with this spot here. That is where we want this um, bendy bone to pivot from. If it pivots from down here, it's gonna be a little bit more cumbersome to work with. So uh, that's the way that we're going to do it. And then what we do, uh, these are just uh, straight parented. So this is parented to, to this guy here, and this one's constrained to this guy here. There's a reason for that, which you'll see later on. And then we actually have a base bone. So this one is gonna be our the one that controls the whole entire base. So I want you to think about this as one module. All right, uh, now this is going to be parented to our root bone, which is just, you know, one bone that if we think about it as a module, sits outside, it's the master of everything. So this one here, our module, our deformation module, we're gonna use the same thing. For, for the top, just do a rough representation. I'm drawing the same thing, just doing it a little bit smaller. All right, so that's the same setup. This is gonna be our lid module, if you're thinking about it as modules, and this is gonna be our base modules. And what we need to do is just connect them together. So uh, we're gonna do that with, a, with another kind of module, uh, which is just gonna be a, a mechanism module. So these, there's gonna be two bones that sit on top of each other here. Um, they are going to sit at this location here, but you'll see when we, when we actually build it, this is going to be our uh, location bone, and this is going to be a mechanism bone. So this is what we're gonna do. And then we just parent this bone here, or this whole module, to this one here, and this one gets parented to this guy here, and then this guy gets parented to this guy here, and everyone's laughing. This is the kind of the schematic of what we're gonna build. Now I have a more detailed drawing of this schematic in the downloads for if you get stuck along the way, but I don't want you to think about this whole entire thing at the at this stage. We're gonna start by building each of these modules one by one, beginning with the base module, because that's the, uh, the most important one. So let's do that now.